Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to report a cheater. The thing is there is no cheaters in Tarkov so I don't know why they have this feature. But anyway if you go to your launcher just like this and go up to the top right hand corner just below your name it should say online with a little down arrow. What you then do is click on report a bug and then if you change your category and change it to suspicion of cheats. In here, you can type the player's name that killed you in a suspicious way. So, I don't um, Get good 420. And you need to do a description of your problem. So, try to not be as vague as possible. Try to actually give useful information. So, speed, hacking, while flying, for instance, or something like that. And then you can also give a server code. So down the bottom left hand side of your game, it will say escape from Tarkov and then it will give a server code. So it could be anything like that one. And then you could even give a time frame of when it happened. So 1435 GMT plus one because, you know, that's how British people are currently at the moment. And then here you go. So they got the server code, your your time and when it actually happened and then what happened when it happened. Because they can check the servers. They, they've said this before, that if they get the server code, they can actually check the servers. The thing that I'm a bit confused about this whole situation is that they said that they're not going to be making any hacks themselves. They're going to be sending it over to... Um, battle eye but the thing with battle eye is if they would have detected a cheater they would have ha uh, banned them anyway so i uh, they said that none of these are going to be getting banned so if i report it get good 420 he won't actually be getting banned because of this they're just going to be sending it over to battle eye so they can have a look but it doesn't make any sense because battle eye won't do any manual bans like what that happened before with tweak they said there is no manual bans it's all done through battle eye to me this is kind of pointless just to get people to shut up who are complaining about there's no cheater reporting problem personally i don't think anything is going to come out of this or if there are starting to become manual bans how can we fight against it due to mass reporting so let's say pesley's a big streamer and there's i don't know he gets tens of thousands of people watching let's say there's a hundred people who don't like him and all report him saying the exact same thing with the same server code or something like that how can they then you know go against it and then how how can he fight his fight his ban it's definitely going to be a weird one and to me they need to have the option of you appealing your ban and not being one of the companies that are like oh sorry your ban well get out you're gonna have to go buy a new one and some new hardware because we hardware ID ban you. To me, it's a bit of a weird one, but this is how you do it. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting at 8am GMT. Don't forget to check down in the link in the description for our spreadsheet. It does have all of the tasks, guides, keys, extracts, everything down there that can definitely help you, especially at this stage of the wipe. Guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.